pay. Armed to the teeth with swords and ropes, our fearless band of pirate pupils crept down to the staff room. I gave the order and we attacked. The battle was over in minutes. We swarmed all over the pirate teachers and tied them up with so much rope they looked like cocoons. Double crosser. Ow! Oof! Arr. We rolled the teachers out onto the quayside. One of the kids shouted, What now? We sail for the West Indies, I cried. Who's with me? Who really wants to be a pirate? Me, 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 they all shouted. Good, said I. Raid the kitchen, fill the water barrels, get the ship ready, we sail in ten minutes. I wrote a note to our parents telling them what had happened. I pinned it to Captain Abdul and we set sail. Dear Diary, six months later, this is the life. We now call ourselves Pirate Pirates because we only steal from other pirates. On our last raid, we found out that pirates from all around the world had heard about our mutiny. Thinking how well taught we must have been, they have sent their kids to Captain Abdul's school. Abdul claims his mutiny was all an idea of his, part of his teaching plan, the scoundrel. So everybody is happy. Captain Abdul, because his school is a roaring success. And our parents, because we send lots of treasure home. The kids are happy because they get to sail and swim and fight and fire cannon and rob bullies and stay up all night. And me? Well, I paint my pictures and write my poems. And I'm captain of my own pirate ship. Who could ask for anything more? I'm Captain Maisie Pickles. The happiest girl in the whole wide wonderful world. Who are? The end. Well, that was a good story, wasn't it? What a brilliant school. Would you like to go to a school like that? Or would it be a bit scary for you? Ah, I don't know. Either way, you'd have lots of adventures, wouldn't you? Goodness me, what fun. Anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely week. Hope you keep safe and look after yourselves. And Rusty and I will see you next week for another story. Bye.